Hey YouTube, yes, I know it's been since August since I last vlogged, um, I moved into a new house, I have three kids, and I've had plenty of time to think and plenty of things to say, but I haven't hooked up the webcam and haven't found time to talk, so now I have time to talk, and I don't take back anything from my previous vlog, I am speaking to a much different audience in my head now. There are several local people and family members that I found out that have been secretly watching me, spying on me, uh, listening to what I had to say but not saying anything about what I had to say, and I guess I finally stepped on their toes enough that they came out and confronted me about it and told me that I shouldn't tell people things like that, that I was betraying the family by speaking my mind. And some things are worth fighting for, and I think that they might have forgotten that while they believe in a religion that had to fight against people that were suppressing it, that other people that don't believe in their religion also have that same fierce desire to share what it is that they believe. And just because what they, we, I believe is different doesn't mean I'm any less passionate about saying it. It doesn't mean that it's less satisfying to testify to what I believe in. And I'm not ashamed of it. I would say the same thing to my children. And my husband and I have been discussing this for several years. In 2007, I went to my bishop, my spiritual leader, and I confessed that I had lost my faith. And that was in 2007, and then I made this vlog in 2009, and several months later, people watched it, <laughs> and they told me that I shouldn't say that kind of stuff. Like, it's already been said, and not that many people watch my videos. <laughs> but now they are, so now I have this audience that I have to please or piss off, and I'm just going to you know, talk about Avatar or, you know, quote some lines from Jabberwocky, and I'm not here to impress anyone. Um, I do intend to say something about the games we play in life at, at work, at home, in parenting. It's, um, all feels like a strategy game sometimes, and YouTube used to be my break from that, my I could be and say who I was and what I wanted to say, and now it's kind of nerve-wracking because I've been found out. My secret identity is out, and so now I have to walk this line, play this game. Or I can just be myself and say what I want to say, say that um, I enjoyed watching Avatar. It was beautiful to look at. I think the concept of reimagining the Earth and getting back to our tribal roots is very valuable. Um, we could re-engineer the world with nanotechnology. I remember having a discussion with someone at the World Future Society, and he said, you know, at some point we'll be able to reshape the Earth to whatever we want it to be. And I said, well, how are we going to deal with other people's rights to reshape the world as they see fit? I mean, will there be these public areas where anybody can create anything? And how will we respect, you know, that's his sculpture, this is my sculpture, I can't manipulate his sculpture. I mean, we're already blurring the lines between taking things that people have created and modifying them and changing them, putting different music to movie clips, and um, it'll be interesting to see where it all falls out. Uh, I could get into the really deep things that I've been studying about technology, and there's definitely this movement, this current that says we are exploring technologies that will make us like gods, and kind of reinterpreting the Bible and saying that science and religion have always been hand in hand. Um, religious people are naturally curious, or um, the Judeo-Christian tradition is to try and explain the way things are. and we expect this uh, apocalypse to come, and someone that I read, you know, compared the apocalypse. It's not really a 
an ending of the world and a final judgment. It's more um, us progressing to the next level of humanism. Are, are we going to become machines? Are we going to download ourselves into computers? Are we going to live forever? Are we going to be able to survive this socially um, to really care about one another? Are we just going to destroy ourselves? Um, my husband's very adamant that it will not be allowed to happen, that we cannot become gods on earth. And I understand it's blasphemy. I also think that it's a conversation worth having. And I feel that if you aren't talking about your faith, if you aren't discussing what you truly believe and living in accordance with those beliefs, then you're just existing in your life. This is no point. <laughs> you believe that life has a point, but you don't pursue that point into doing anything about it. I, I don't understand a lot of things. <laughs> and it made me think of Jabberwocky, because while I watched Avatar, and it was fascinating, it's not a very deep story. And um, Alice in Wonderland Through the Looking Glass is very interesting. It's a playground for different metaphors. So I'll go ahead and read a little bit of Jabberwocky. So I remember this poem being thought-provoking. "'Twas brill again the slithy toads did grile and grimble in the wave, all mimsy were the borough groves, and the momraths outgrave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird, and shun the firmus bandersnatch. So, this father's talking to his son, and the son vanquishes this evil foe, and they celebrate, and they quote the first stanza again. "'Twas brillig and the slithy toes." Did gyre and grimble in the wave, on Lindsay where the borough grows, and the momraths outgrave. I still haven't figured out those lyrics. It makes sense, and it says something, but it doesn't define what it's saying, so it leaves it to interpretation. We're not sure what momraths are or what outgrave is. I mean, it could be outrage or anything you want it to be. So. Um, poetry, music, I've been listening to a lot of that, um, been watching your videos, and they're lovely, it's nice to catch up, it's lovely to say hi to friends and people that I know through YouTube, and for those that I know in real life, go easy on me, I'm not anyone hugely important, I'm just Sabrina. A mother of three boys who keep me very busy. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later.